सदाशिवसमारंभम शंकराचार्य मध्यमस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृति पुराणा आलिं करुणाली नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्रभाष्यत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरात्मेति मूर्ति भेद विभागिनी व्योम व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणाूर्त सहनावतु सहनौ नक्तु सह वीरकवाहि तेजस्वीनावती चमस्तुमाभिषाई ओं शाच शाचाति यो ब्रह्मांडुदातिपुर वेदाग्च प्रहिणोति तस्म तगु महदेव आत्मबुद्धि प्रकाश मुक्षुर वै शरण हम प्रपद्य ओं शाच शाचाति आम्रयांतक संसिधमादि मध्यांतवर्जित आनंदघन आत्मज्योतिर्मे पूर्वपक्ष बीज अनूद्य दूषयति एज ए इंट्रोडक्शन टू दि सेवेंटी सूत्र भगवान सदाशिव ब्रह्मेन्द्र से पूर्वपक्ष बीज अनूद्य सींग दि पूर्वपक्ष वॉट इज दि पूर्वपक्ष थॉट हियर पूर्वपक्ष पक्षी इज थॉट हियर दैट इज रिपीटेड बाय दि सिद्धांति एंड देन देर इज अ रिफ्टेशन ऑफ दि सेम अन्य सॉरी इज सॉरी सो अन्वयादी चेत सियादारणा अन्वयादी चेत सियादारणा सो दि पूर्वपक्ष टू दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन वॉट वॉज वॉट हेज गॉन बाय दि फर्स्ट इज दि सिद्धांत दिस इज आत्मशब्दा च बिकॉज आत्मशब्दा एंड पुरुष शब्द हैव दि सेम मीनिंग इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट देर फोर आत्मा मीन्स परमात्मा एंड देन पूर्वपक्षी ऑब्जेक्ट टू दैट सेंग दैट इट कैन बी हिरण्य गर्भा सिद्धांति सेड इट कैनॉट बी हिरण्य गर्भा आत्मशब्द कैनॉट मीन हिरण्य गर्भा बिकॉज द कॉन्टेक्स्ट इज ऑफ सृष्टि एंड सृष्टि प्रकरण शोज दैट एवरी सृष्टि इज फ्रॉम सृष्टि ऑफ एवरी थिंग राधर सर्वसृष्टि इज फ्रॉम परमात्मा अलोन नॉट फ्रॉम हिरण्य गर्भा सो देर फोर दि आत्मगृहती इतरवत उत्तरात एंड दि सृष्टि प्रकरण इज नोन फ्रॉम दि मंत्रा दैट फॉलोज दैट वॉज मेन्शन बाय दि सिद्धांति एंड एस्टैब्लिश दैट आत्मशब्द मीन्स परमात्मा नॉट हिरण्य गर्भा नाउ दि पूर्वपक्षी इज सेंग दैट अन्वयाद अन्वयाद चेत सो अन्वयाद मीन्स परमात्म ग्रहण इज नॉट युक्त बिकॉज देर इज एन देर इज अन्वय ऑफ हिरण्य गर्भा इन दि ओपनिंग देर इज टॉक ऑफ हिरण्य गर्भा एंड हिरण्य गर्भा अन्वय इज देर एंड देर फोर परमात्मा कैनॉट बी दि मीनिंग ऑफ आत्मशब्द इति चेत इफ दिस इज दि डाउट दिस इज अनुवाद एंड देन एंसर इज सियाद अवधारणा इफ यू लुक एट दि अवधारण एवकार दिस इट सेल्फ वै इंडीड ऑल दीज वर्ड्स आर यूज टू शो परमात्मा अलोन एज द मीनिंग ऑफ आत्मा एंड नॉट हिरण्य गर्भ सो अन्वयाद चेत सियाद अवधारणा सिद्धांति से अवधारणा सियाद परमात्मा आत्मशब्द से अर्थ सियाद सो हिरण्य गर्भे अन्वयाद और दैट कैन बी अनदर वे टू लुक एट हिरण्य गर्भ से और हिरण्य गर्भे अन्वयाद चेत इफ दैट इज इ डाउट सियाद अवधारणा एव इति अवधारणा एव कार इज देर एंड देर बाय परमात्मा ग्रहण इज वैलिड से सिद्धांति वृत्ति लोक सृष्टि वाक्य पर्यालोचनया हिरण्य गर्भ एव वाक्यान्वया न परमात्म ग्रहण युक्त चेत हिरण्य गर्भ एव मीनि हिरण्य गर्भे एव सो अन्वया इज इन हिरण्य गर्भ यू कैन लुक एट हिरण्य गर्भ एज अन्वया और यू कैन सी अन्वया मीनिंग दि दि वर्ड कनेक्शन ऑफ दि वर्ड इज इन अन्वया इज अ कनेक्शन इट्स अ संबंध सो संबंध ऑफ दिस सेक्शन इज विथ हिरण्य गर्भ इन अन टू हिरण्य गर्भ अलोन देर इज मीनिंग ऑफ दि आत्मशब्द इट इज रिजॉल्विंग देर से इज दि पूर्वपक्षी वाय लोक सृष्टि वाक्य पर्यालोचनया ही से वेन यू इन्क्वायर इन टू दि लोक सृष्टि एंड यू लुक एट दि वाक्य अन्वया 
వాక్య వాక్య పర్యాలోచన యు ఇన్క్వైర్ ఇన్ టు ది వాక్య యాజ్ టు వేర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కనెక్టింగ్ దెన్ యూ సీ దాట్ ది కనెక్షన్ అన్వయ ఈజ్ ఇన్ టు హిరణ్యగర్భ హిరణ్యగర్భ శబ్ద దేర్ అండ్ దేర్ ఫోర్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ది బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ది ఉపసంహార ఆల్సో యూ కెన్ సీ ఫర్దర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గోన్ టు కమ్ అప్ హీ సేస్ దట్ ఇఫ్ యూ లుక్ అట్ ది ఇనీషియల్ సెటప్ దట్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ మేడ్ యూజింగ్ హిరణ్య గర్భ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఫాలోయింగ్ దాట్ వాక్య హ్యాస్ టు కనెక్ట్ సమ్ హౌ విత్ ది అర్లియర్ సెక్షన్ అండ్ దేర్ ఫోర్ ఆత్మ శబ్ద విల్ మీన్ నాట్ యాజ్ పర్ పరమాత్మ బట్ హిరణ్య గర్భ దట్ ఈస్ ది మీనింగ్ హిరణ్య గర్భే విషయ విషయ సప్తి వికెన్ సింగ్ హిరణ్య గర్భే విషయే వాక్య అన్వయాత్ ద వాక్య ఈజ్ కనెక్టింగ్ ఇన్ దాట్ మ్యానర్ ఓన్లీ when hiranyagarbha meaning is taken it will make sense is the puro pakshi and thereby parmatma meaning is not correct na parmatma grahanam yuktam parmatma grahanam na yuktam it is not valid iti chet yuktam na bhavati if this is the objection atraha siddhanti says what parmatmana eva grahanam yuktam syat no yuktam స్యాత్ పరమాత్మ ఏ గ్రహణం ఓన్లీ ది పరమాత్మ మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఆత్మ శబ్ద విల్ మేక్ సెన్స్ దేర్ వాయ్ బికాస్ యూ ఆర్ జస్ట్ లుకింగ్ యాట్ సమ్ ప్రోనౌన్ కనెక్టింగ్ విత్ ది నౌన్ ఆర్ సమ్ వాక్య అనాలిసిస్ వేర్ బై వాక్య కనెక్ట్స్ విత్ ది అర్లియర్ సెక్షన్ బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ లుక్ యాట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఎజర్టెడ్ దేర్ వాట్ ఈస్ రిపీటెడ్ ఆర్ డ్రివెన్ హోమ్ విత్ ఎంఫసిస్ దేర్ యూ లుక్ యాట్ అవధారణ if you inquire into then you will see that hiranya garbha meaning won't hold good it has already been explained as to how hiranya garbha meaning won't hold good meaning taking cue from other upanishads or other uh, shakhas we have analyzed as to hiranya garbha utpatti has not taken place really because uh, sukshma shariras are not born yet so that is another way to look at it which we had seen earlier now సిద్ధాంతి సెస్ ఏవ కార ఇస్ దేర్ వేర్ ఆత్మ వా ఇదం ఏక ఏవ అగ్రాసీత్ ఇది సృష్టే ప్రాక్ ఏకత్వ అవధారణ పరమాత్మని సమంజసత్వాత్ సో సమంజసత్వం సామంజస్యం దట్స్ వాట్ ఇట్ మీన్స్ సామంజస్యం వేర్ ఇస్ ది సామంజస్యం ఇఫ్ యూ కాటెడ్ దెన్ ది సృష్టి బిఫోర్ సృష్టి దెర్ ఇస్ ఓన్లీ పరమాత్మ ఏక ఏవ దెర్ ఇస్ నో వన్ ఎల్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ వాట్ వీ సో అర్లియర్ యాజ్ టు హిరణ్య గర్భ ఈజ్ నాట్ దేర్ అట్ ఆల్ సో ఏవకార ఈజ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఏవకార మీన్స్ వాట్ ఇండీడ్ ఆల్సో అండ్ ఆత్మ ఏవ మీనింగ్ ఆత్మ ఏకమేవ అద్వితీయం బ్రహ్మ ఆత్మ ఈజ్ పుల్లింగ్ సో ఏక ఏవ ఆర్ యూ కెన్ సే ఆత్మ ఈజ్ బ్రహ్మ దేర్ నపుంచక్లే ఏకమేవ ద్వితీయం బ్రహ్మ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఈజ్ ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ బిఫోర్ సృష్టి దేర్ ఫోర్ హిరణ్యగర్భ ఈజ్ నాట్ దేర్ అట్ ఆల్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ అన్వయ ఇన్ టు హిరణ్యగర్భ లోక సృష్టి వాక్య ఆల్సో ఇఫ్ యూ అనలైజ్ యూ కెనాట్ ల్యాండ్ ఆన్ లోక సృష్టి లోకానాం సృష్టి హిరణ్యగర్భాత్ న భవితుం అర్హతి పరమాత్మన ఏవ భవితుం అర్హతి ఈజ్ ది క్లెయిమ్ మేడ్ బై ది సిద్ధాంతి బికాస్ ఏవకార ఏవకార షోస్ దట్ ఆత్మ అలోన్ ఈజ్ దేర్ ఆత్మ వా ఇదం ఏక ఏవ అగ్ర ఆసీత్ ఓన్లీ వన్ నథింగ్ అదర్ దెన్ ఆత్మ వాజ్ దేర్ బిఫోర్ సృష్టి దెన్ విత్ సృష్టి యూ సీ నామరూప మేనిఫెస్టేషన్ అండ్ విత్ దట్ నామరూప మేనిఫెస్టేషన్ యూ కెన్ హ్యావ్ హిరణ్యగర్భ విరాట్ ఇత్యాది బట్ దెన్ వితౌట్ దాట్ creation itself you cannot have hiranyagarbha at all and thereby atma va idam eka eva agre agra asit iti srishtehe prak ekatva avadharanasya de avadharana is of ekatva eka eva is there eka eva only one so that only indeed only one nothing else is there you cannot bring in anyone other than paramatma because that atma is paramatma you cannot say hiranyagarbha was there if hiranyagarbha alone was there then you cannot bring in you cannot accumulate uh, sorry you cannot accommodate paramatma at all hiranyagarbha 
is the meaning of the atma if the puro pakshi is in, insisting then we have to ask him to explain when was paramatma born then paramatma cannot precede hiranyagarbha in your case if atma means paramat uh, hiranyagarbha and hiranyagarbha eka eva hiranyagarbha eka eva asi srushte prak then paramatma srushti should be mentioned then which is ridiculous therefore ekatva avadharanasya paramatmani eva samanjasatvat in paramatma alone if the atma meaning has anvaya that vakya anvaya takes place and the अर्थ पर्यालोचना इज इन टू इज अन टू परमात्मा लोन देन ओनली देर बी सामंजस्यम देर बी एप्रोप्रिएट अंडरस्टैंडिंग अदरवाइज यू हैव टू इमेजिन समथिंग विच इज इनवैलिडेटेड बाय ऑल शास्त्र वाक्या ततच अत्र शाखातरोक्त भूत सृष्टिप संहर्तव्य अदोष सो अत्र शाखातरोक्त भूत सृष्टि रूप संहर्तव्य सॉरी उपसंहर्तव्य नॉट रूप दज उकारा देर सो सृष्टि शाखातर उक्त भूत सृष्टि उपसंहर्तव्य अदोष दि सृष्टि स्त्रीलिंग सो उपसंहर्तव्य दि सृष्टि विच इज डिस्कस्ड इन दि अदर शाखाज ऑलसो शुड बी लुक्ड इन टू एंड देन यू क्लब देम टुगेदर यू विल सी the srishti vakya elsewhere and srishti vakya here has to be similar they not did not be exactly same they they need not be exactly same because differences which cannot be justified in srishti prakarana if they cannot be justified as to why there is a difference and you cannot justify then you can always say that it is a srishti of another kalpa there is no necessity for srishti in each and every kalpa to be exactly the same there is no such uh, necessity at all so we can say that if you know uh, for example chandogya and brihat uh, not brihat uh, taitiriya so chandogya and taitiriya srishti vakyas are differing if someone were to, were to say that purva pakshi were to say make a claim that there are only three mahabhutas and in taitriya there are five mahabhuta there what bhagwan bhashyakara does is that he says that two mahabhutas akasha and vayu are already utpanna as per taitriya prakarana before the chandogya discusses the srishti of three mahabhutas which are pending so it is not that the prapancha is born from three mahabhutas it is born from five mahabhutas and all of them are really born from parmeshwara therefore the tatpurya is to say that everything is born of parmatma so it, there can be justification in this manner if there is some case where justification cannot be made for example in mandukya ajatavada there is no srishti or you look at any other srishti prakriya which is slightly different like uh, jivas are, are born from parmatma like sparks are born from fire says mundaka shruti so how do you explain all that when we cannot uh, justify it meaning logically you cannot justify it shruti need not be logical but if you want to give some logic to the puro pakshi it can always be said that uh, in different kalpas different kind of shrutis are mentioned they can be different kind of shrutis because it is all a kalpana really so vivartavada anyway there is no real creation there is no real change of parmatma into this prapancha therefore kalpa bheda can be shown however what cannot be different is that utpatti takes from parmatma in one case and not from parmatma from hiranyagarbha or something else in another case across kalpas also you cannot make such claim because consistency has to be there for mukti mahavakya to work for mukti to take place mahavakya should be interpretable in all kalpas across shakhas you cannot have mahavakya being different as to you are parmatma versus you are hiranyagarbha 
across different shaka or different kalpa. That kind of an analysis cannot be holding water at all because Paramatma meaning of Tatpadartha should be there across kalpas, across shrutis for Mahavakya to work. And Mahavakya is the only way in which one can understand one's own Swarupa. If some Acharya tells the Shishya as to you are Hiranyagarbha, it absolutely does not result in Mukti. It has to be Paramatma. It has to be the uh, because Hiranyagarbha is Sukshma Sharira Abhimani. Even if you resolve that, Sukshma Sharira Abhimana will remain. One cannot disassociate with the Sukshma Sharira if at all Hiranyagarbha and Aikya with the Jiva is seen. Of course, in uh, in uh, Mundaka or in uh, especially in Mandukya, the Aikya between Hiranyagarbha and the Sapna Sharira Abhimani Taijasa is seen. That can be done. However, the Aikya between Ishwara and the Pradnya who is Sushupti Avastha Abhimani, that cannot be done. If at all the Tatpada resolves into Hiranyagarbha and not into Paramatma. So that's another way we can understand as to why Shakantar Ukta Bhuta Shrishti Upasamhartavya. Upasamhara should be done with other Srishti Vakyas also. The way Srishti Vakyas are working in other Shakhas to ascertain that every Padartha is born out of Paramatma, that kind of analysis should take place. Without which, Bheda will not, Bheda into the source of this Prapancha cannot result in Mukti at all. And this is the case not only for, for Vedanti, for anyone. For anyone it won't work because Astika, for any Astika who is saying that Shrishti, Shrishti Karta is accepted as Paramatma in one way or the other. There may be other kind of differences but then Paramatma is agreeable to be playing a role. Even uh, when Karmakandi says I don't care about Srishti, we have to set him aside. But then those who claim about Srishti, even Sankhya who claims about Srishti does not say that Purusha has absolutely no role to play. Without the presence of Purusha, Purusha may not be contributing positively to the Srishti in the sense of he is not participating, but without Purusha's presence, there cannot be Srishti at all. Whether they call him Purusha or Paramatma, meaning uh, Sankhya is seen mostly to be Nireshwaravada. But some part of Sankhya is also seen to be Saishwaravada. Yoga is anyway with, uh, Yoga establishes Ishwara, accepts Ishwara rather. So if you look at it, anyone who is talking about Srishti has to accept some kind of a sentient supreme being. That supreme Purusha is Ishwara Paramatma cannot be Hiranyagarbha. Hiranyagarbha is a name tag for the same Ishwara but with Abhimana in Sukshma Sharira and that becomes Jiva. Hiranyagarbha is also seen as Jiva because it is an Upasana Phala. For Jiva, Jiva has Abhimana in Hiranyagarbha kind of a um, kind of a Sammandha with all Sukshma Shariras as Phala to have Sukabhoga simultaneously Sukhabhog of all Jeevas. That is the Phala and that is the highest Sukha which is experiential Ananda, experiential happiness as a result of Karma and Upasana. This is what Jeeva can get. This is the highest and we see this in uh, Taitiriya Upanishad Brahmananda Valli. Therefore, Hiranyagarbha does not really mean Paramatma, Hiranyagarbha is also seen to be Karya Brahma and then Jiva Bhava is also accepted because it is Phala for Jiva's Upasana Ityadi. And therefore Shakantara Okta Bhuta Srishtihi Upasamhartavya Iti Adosha. Therefore there is no dosha in taking the Atma Shabda meaning as Paramatma and 
that result is validated by seeing the srishti prakarana and comparing srishti across various shakhas iti prathamam varnakam so when prathama varnakam is mentioned par- prathama varnakam is this is the first interpretation of this sutra what is the second interpretation to that bhagwan uh, sadashiv brahmendra says purvatra vakyaikya balat arthadi paratvam parityajya vidyaikyam avadi <coughs> what was done earlier he says that earlier vakya vakya in kathopanishad has been seen not as different vakyas are not seen as different but there is eka vakyata there is no vakya bheda there is vakya aikya vakya all the vakyas which are talking about artha indriyas manaha ichadi they are all committed to reveal paramatma therefore that purusha who is revealed through each and every segment of the section there katha mantra they all have eka vakyata and therefore vakya ke bala based on the strength of the section entire section being committed to revealing paramatma atma being a single vakya based on that <coughs> arthadi paratvam parityajya having given up the commitment of single or tatpare of the single segments of the vakya to artha indriya manaha buddhi ityadi and then finally atma that kind of a prayojana was not there and therefore it was given up having given up parityajya vidya ekyam avadi the entire vidya is atma vidya there there is paramatma which who is revealed finally as one with atma but then atma as if when you look at it is not uh, rather is superior not <coughs> is para is para compared to every thing that is shown as para just like kosha viveka pancha kosha viveka is also done in this manner compared to dannamaya kosha uh, compared to annamaya atma it is said compared to this annamaya atma which has been descri- described there is another atma within who is subtler interior etc superior and then once you know that there cannot be another atma so when it is said there is another within who is atma then the external is dropped as atma is seen as kosha is a sheath is mere covering like a like a like clothing thrown over oneself one's body similarly this body is also covering then sukshma sharira sharira traya viveka is also in this manner tadatmya sambandha which each outer is dropped when you understand the inner and then pranamaya kosha is taken as atma pranamaya atma and annamaya becomes kosha and so on one progresses similarly here when you say indriyas are compared with vishayas and vishayas are dragging them out therefore vishayas are superior then compared to vishayas antakarana mana hai superior and then buddhi superior etc then finally you land on atma and sakashta saparagati hi you cannot further analyze you cannot drop yourself because one who is dropping everything else seeing the superiority of oneself compared to everything else one is dropping everything else discarding or setting aside everything else then that entity who is dropping cannot drop oneself atma cannot drop itself even with the an- analysis that one is doing requiring buddhi that buddhi can be dropped in, while analyzing in buddhi but atma cannot be dropped because atma is not analyzing atma can never analyze without the buddhi so atma is analyzing with the buddhi sambandha and knowing that atma which is associated and reflected in antakarana allowing buddhi to act that atma cannot be dropped because if you drop the atma you will won't be there one who is dropping the atma it is as good as saying that i am speaking but i do not have tongue bhagwan bhashyakara says that he refutes the bodha paksha in this manner it is like claiming that i have you know i am dumb i cannot speak 
saying a statement that I cannot speak because I I do not have a tongue is a lie in itself. That statement itself cannot be. If the statement is there, then tongue cannot be said to be missing. If the tongue is there, then you cannot say that it is not there. So atma, which is dropping everything else, cannot be dropped at all. So there cannot be shunya vada ever that can be ex- accepted by any angle. It is completely illogical. The claim, the one who is claiming, the claimant cannot say that he is not there. Without that, there won't be a claim at all. There cannot be a statement at all. So, Purvatra Vakyaikya Balat Arthadi Paratvam Parityajya Vidyaikyam Avadi. This is what Siddhanti had done. He had established that the entire Vidya is basically a single Vidya because it is committed to revealing this Atma which cannot be known through any other Pramana and it cannot be dropped also. Ihatu Upakrama Bhedena Vakya Bhedad Vidyaikyam Nasyat Iti Pratyudarana Sangatya Idamaha. So now this is the section which will go from what? The earlier Sutra 16. So 16th and 17th can be seen in a different manner. That is the uh, Dvitiya Varnaka. The second Varnaka, second interpretation can be in this manner of this Adhikarana. Atma Grihitya Adhikarana. So these are the two Sutras. So uh, what is he saying? Ihatu Upakrama Bhedena. Because in introduction there is difference. And since there is a difference in introduction, you cannot club together as single vakya, single section with a single prayojana and that there is no other prayojana with the earlier section, you cannot say that. Uh, earlier part of the section, you cannot make such a claim. Iti pratyudarana sangatya idamaha. So, Puro Pakshi is showing difference in the earlier analysis and the of the Siddhanti where vakya ikya was there. Here, there is no vakya ikya. There is Vidya Bheda, there is no Vidya Ikya. Because in initial uh, introduction, if you see, Puram Vakya Bheda Mavidhaya Arthadinam Prutak Pratipadyatam Nasti Iti Abhitam Tadvat Prajapate Reto Devaha Iti Puru Vakya Hiranyagarvasi Prakrutatvad Vakya Bheda Bhya Saeva Atma Shabdina Abhidhiyate Abhidhiyate Iti Drishtanta Sangatya. There is a Drishtanta Sangat here. So similar uh, kind of a kind of analysis has been made and Puro Pakshi in another interpretation of this, the introduction would be what? Earlier there was Vakya Ikya and due to Vakya Ikya, you had established the Vidya Ikya, Yudhi Siddhanti. Here, Vakya Ikya is not possible and Vidya Ikya is not possible. Why? Because Vakya Ikya is not possible because introduction differs. Upakrama has Veda. So, it is not Drishtanta Sangati. There is no example and exemplified. There is a Virodha. So, he is saying, this is a counter example. So introduction is given not as a as, as an example but a counter example to the process that has been followed by the Siddhanti. And this is the Pura Paksha Idamaha Atma Grihiti Itaravad Uttarat. So he says Atma Grihiti Itaravad Uttarat. What does it mean? Atra Pura Paksha Vidya Bhedad Guna Anupasamahara Guna Anupasamahara. These Gunas which are discussed in other Shaka should not be brought together. Why? Because Vidya Bheda is there. Both Vidyas differ across Shakhas. Siddhanti Tara Bheda Tarupa Samhara Iti Phala Bheda. Siddhanti says that there is absolutely no difference in Vidya and therefore Guna should be clubbed together. So Tad Abheda. Tad Abheda is Vidya Abheda. Vidya is same in both Shakhas. Therefore Guna Upa Samhara should be done. Brahadarnake. So what is the example here? Brihada, meaning counter example as per the Purva Pakshi. Brihada Aranyake Katama Atma iti Atma Shabdena Upakramya Sava Esha Mahanaja Atma iti Atma Shabdena Upasamhurutam Chandogyetu Sadeva Somyeda Magrasi iti Vina Eva Atma Shabdam Sanmatra Tvena Upakramya Sa Atma Tattumasi iti Upasamhurutam So if you look at it, Upakrama Upakrama and Upasamhara will become one linga. What was the linga used earlier? If you look at it, we have seen the, there was in the earlier section, we had seen two lingas being used. One was the Apurvatva and then I think uh, 
gone back a lot so there was apurvatva linga and um, ye phalavatvam so phalavatvam was one linga used and apurvatvam was another linga used and there in the earlier adhikarana this was used atma shabda acha then the sutrakara said that so phalavatva and apurvatva are two lingas out of six the first linga there is upakrama and upasamahara should should be strong enough to reveal the tatpare vishya and they are even in a in your you know presentation anywhere anyone is doing a presentation for people the opening statement and the closing statement need not be exactly the first and the last statement but in introduction and summary the same topic which is important for which the presentation has been made comes up so somebody who is making a presentation will say that i'll talk about this this is the focus here and then the same focus is brought together in the summary in a sum up so that becomes the tatpare vishaya so one who has actually missed it if he knows a little bit in the beginning and in little bit in the end he can make out the you know the what do you say mota mota in hindi so i got the you know basic idea of what he is trying to say so i got the major points so this is what anybody would get why because tatpare vishaya is revealed by the opening and the ending even by the opening in fact in fact if you look at it somebody says that okay literally he says that uh, this is what i'll talk about and uh, you have gone there you are not interested in that topic you did not know what is the topic you know that this person is going to talk so you went there and then you listen to it you see that that tatpare vishaya does not even interest you you can walk away so upakrama is important so also upasamahara sometimes in upakrama one may say i'll talk about this and then also this and also this you do not know what exactly is the focus among all these three topics that he is going to discuss because they don't have they don't group together let's say let's say he says that i'm going to talk about these three things in the opening and you do not know which exactly is the focus among all these three which is the primary matter subject matter there then that will be clear only in the conclusion so upakrama and upasamahara will become a single linga because there is no sambandha uh, direct sambandha which can be seen between these three topics he is going to build up that over a over the course of the presentation and then finally sum up and say that this is the conclusion and that conclusion will be one among the three or the sambandha between those so whatever that is you will know in the conclusion so you put together the upakrama and upasamahara you will know which is the subject matter there which was the tatpare vishaya so now there is a uh, this linga is being used and what has been said is that atra purvakshe vidya vityadi ha katam atma brihadarnike katam atma iti atma shabdena upakramya having opened up with the atma shabda in brihadarnika upanishad katam meaning what tama pratyay is there this this tama is indicating one among many so among all of these which is the atma which is the real atma among all of these so in brihadarnika upanishad there is a question in the opening katama atma which one among all these plural which one among all these is atma to pick one among the two the question would be katara atma so katara has not been used katama has been used meaning that there are at least three so among all of these which are discussed which one is atma iti atma shabdena upakramya atma shabda has been used directly sakshat then in the upasamahara what has been used iti upasamahurutam what has been in the conclusion savaesha mahan aja atma mahan ajaha atma ajaha na jayate iti ajaha this sah vai indeed esha this is that very entity which is mahan that brahma paramatma which is aja who is unborn that is atma so katam atma mahan ajaha atma who is that sah vai esha eva that paramatma is this this atma jivatma so you can see aikya also there but even if you are not focusing on aikya what do you see atma shabda has been used in the opening and atma has been used in the closing also so 
ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग उपक्रम एंड उपसंहार आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आत्मा देर फोर इति आत्म शब्द ने उपसंहृत देर फोर आत्मा बिकम सी तात्पर्य विषय देर परमात्मा नाउ इन छांदोग्य हुए बर छांदोग्य उपनिषद इन छांदोग्य छांदोग्य तू ऑन दी अदर हैंड सदैव सोमी इधम ग्रासीत इति विनायवा आत्म शब्दम सन्मात्रत्वेन उपक्रम्य सो हु वाज डिस्कस इन दी ओपनिंग देर हे सोम्य इधम जगत अग्रे सृष्टे प्राक बिफोर सृष्टि दिस प्रपंचा आसीत व्हाट वाज इट सदैव आसीत इट वाज only existent existence it was nothing but sat sat matra so there is no atma shabda there sat word has been used so san matra tvena upakramya having opened as opened the section in chandogya upanishads as what all this o somya father is telling to the son who is the shishya as well in the sixth chapter o oh, all this the entire prapancha was sat alone before srti Where is the Atma Shabda there? No Atma Shabda. But in conclusion, what has been said? So Atma Tattvamasi, that Atma, you are, you are that. So Atma, so Atma Tattvamasi means so Atma. That is Atma. So what is that? If you look at it from the Siddhanta Bhaksha, there is no problem. So that so is so is pullinga, but so is not pullinga there. In the beginning, so is not pullinga. Sat is what Sat is Napunsa Kalinga, or you can see you know the 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 way the discussion goes. Even if you say Sri Linga also, it is definitely not Pullinga. But then Vidhya Pradhanin, the Vidhya is uh, here Atma Atma. It is revealed as Atma, predicated as Atma, and what is predicated that takes priority in Vidhya Linga. So Vidhya Linga has been taken the gender of the One that is predicated has been taken, and therefore not tat or sa ityadi. Saha has been said. Saha atma. So, so we don't have an issue in grammar. In Vyakarana, it is accepted that vidhe pradhan ye na linga bheda ha. So linga bheda is expect uh, accepted by vidhe ya pradhan ye. What is important is to reveal the predicated, and that predicated gender is taken by the pronoun. The pronoun connects with the earlier, but the earlier gender. is not taken by the pronoun the pronoun takes the following gender following meaning that which is predicated therefore saha atma tat tatvamasi and that you are saha atma you can put a full stop here saha atma asti and tad tad is what here now you look at tat is that sad brahma tat tvam parmatma you are sad brahma is tad brahma tat brahma tvam you are asi iti upasamrutam so aikya is discuss here as well but then puro pakshi is focusing on atma shabda in the opening there is no atma shabda and in closing there is atma shabda whereas in brihat there is atma shabda both in upakrama and upasamhara tatra kim anayoho vakyayoho tulyarthatvam uta bhinnarthatvam iti samshaye bhinnarthatvam iti purva pakshah puro pakshi says that now there is a samshaya whether there is these two vakyas are talking about the same thing or they are talking about some different things the meaning is same or not tattvamasi versus savayesha mahanaja atma do they have the same meaning are they mahavakyas or they are no not mahavakyas in the language that we know puro pakshi says that bhinnar tattvam idi puro paksha when such a doubt is there he is saying both mean different things you cannot do you cannot have ek vakyata there they are talking about two different things you cannot connect them at all across the shaka siddhantas tu whereas siddhanta is chandogya satpadena atmane eva grihiti hi so what is the sutra there earlier atma grihiti hi where it is not this aitaryaka shruti it is different shruti which shruti in the brihat shruti what do you see is that uh, not brihat shruti sorry chandogya shruti in the chandogya shruti satpadena in chandogya the satpada the sat shabda means atma alone At, by that what should you understand atmana eva grihiti grahanam only atma parmatma is meant by such shabda how so itaravat like elsewhere where brahadarnike atma padina atma grahanavat just like in brahadarnika atma means at, atma shabda means parmatma similarly here also sat should mean parmatma why so 
कुतः उत्तरा यू लुक एट दी फॉलोइंग सेक्शन व्हाट इज द फॉलोइंग सेक्शन यू सी वाक्य शेष है सह आत्मा सह आत्मा इज देयर दी विधेय प्राधान्य पुल्लिंगा इज देयर बट देन सह इफ यू डू नॉट एक्सेप्ट दैट दिस सह इज सत देन यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन वेयर इज दिस प्रोनाउन कनेक्टिंग टू व्हाट डज इट मीन व्हाट डज दिस प्रोनाउन इज अ प्रॉक्सी नाउन सो व्हाट इज इट अ प्रॉक्सी फॉर यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन दिस प्रोनाउन स्टैंड्स फॉर व्हिच noun siddhanti can explain but the purva pakshi cannot explain there is nothing which precedes which can be connected as atma nothing at all except for sat brahma in the opening what was said that alone can be connected you cannot connect anything else sah atma sadeva somya idam agra asit sah that sat sat brahma is atma iti upasamhar bala this upasamhara is a strong linga there indicator to interpret sah as nothing other than parmatma there ataha ubhayatra means uh, sad brahma as atma ataha ubhayatra tulyarthatvam ityartha therefore there is similar meaning it is mahavakya alone because parmatma is shown to be atma in both cases anvayad iti chet syad avadharana now how do you interpret this second sutra in the adhikarana with the द्वितीय वर्णक सो देर ननु उपसंहार बला सत्पदेन आत्मगृहीति असंगत पूर्वपक्षी से दैट टेकिंग दि कंक्लूजन दि स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दि कंक्लूजन यू कैनॉट से दैट ओके आत्मा इज दि मीनिंग ऑफ दि सत्पद इन छांदोग्य उपनिषद वाय उपसंहार से उपक्रम अन्वया बिकॉज देर हेज टू बी अन्वया बिट्वीन उपक्रम एंड उपसंहार उपसंहार शुड connect with the upasamhara should connect with the upakrama and you are connecting the sah with sad and you are saying sad means atma but then the connection anvaya is not taking place in that manner upasamhara se upakrama an anvayat what does that mean upakrama paratantva diti chet tatra so anvaya diti chet is interpreted in which manner purva pakshi is saying that the anvaya of the conclusion should be in line with the opening the conclusion cannot be out of sync with the opening in the opening it has been said sad brahma so that sad brahma means the existence principle so there is a lot of noise in the background so the uh, existence principle is in the opening so now if you have to interpret something meaning reinterpret the word or analyze the word and conclude differently then you should reinterpret the atma shabda in the or whatever you are doing in the upasamhara that has to be reconfigured but not the opening the opening cannot be changed due to the conclusion but we have seen that earlier all that we have seen in avirodha adhyaya however siddhanti says that no they are both in line there is absolutely no reinterpretation etc sad brahma has sad has to mean brahma meaning sad shabda has to mean brahma has to mean atma because otherwise if you say do say that these two statements have different meanings meaning it is not a mahavakya then the entire vedanta analysis won't work and no astika can justify anything advaita has advaita vedanta has taken a lot of effort and established this process in which every vakya can be understood and now you are saying that uh, no this is not a mahavakya at all there is no parmatma there this srishti will also not work well none of these will make sense it will all be random therefore the conclusion and opening are in the are in sync so if that is the objection what the siddhanti answer is satpadena atmagrihiti yukta syat it is completely tenable that sad word means brahmatma kutaha why sadeva iti advitiyatva avadharana because this advitiya evakara ekameva has been mentioned ekah eva or sadeva evakara is there with sad now earlier we have seen ekah what there is there, there it was आत्मा वा इदम एक एव नाउ दिस एवकारा अवधारणा इज एवकारा एंड नाउ इट इज नॉट कनेक्टिंग विथ एक एव इट इज कनेक्टिंग 
in the second interpretation as well, sadeva, meaning only sat. Now, if you say it was not sat, other than sat, what was there? Sadeva, before srishti there was only sat. And if you say that sat does not mean paramatma, here also you have to explain, earlier you have to explain, oh, if it means hiranyagarbha, then you have to explain, uh, when was paramatma born? Paramatma birth has to be justified, which is not acceptable to any astika. Paramatma is not born in any darshana. So now when you say Sadeva Asit, there Sat does not mean Paramatma, but it means the existence principle. Sat, whatever you take the meaning of Sat, if it is not Paramatma, then you have to explain as to how that Evakara makes sense there. Shruti is saying Sadeva Asit. It was all only Sat. And there everyone knows that when something only exists, that is Paramatma. Before Srishti, there is only Paramatma. So, Sadeva Eva Asit. If you say something else is also there, then it is okay. Paramatma has to be accepted. Paramatma and Sat was there. If this is the claim that the Puro Pakshi is making, then Evakara should be explained. Evakara clearly says Sadeva Asit, meaning nothing other than Sat was there. And now, Puro Pakshi cannot say that Paramatma and Sat was there. And now, uh, this Paramatma meaning cannot be taken. Sad meaning literally should be taken in the opening and in Upasamahara, Atma Shabda, there Sa can mean Sat, it cannot mean Paramatma. If he is making that claim, then he has to explain Evakara. He cannot explain. Evakara means literally it is saying that only Sat was there and only Paramatma is there is a fact. Therefore, Paramatma and Sat have the same meaning. Kutaha Sadeva iti Advitiyatva Avadharanat Ityartaha iti Dvitiyam Varnakam. So, there is a second explanation of the earlier adhikarana we'll see the next adhikarana in the next part amna yantika samsiddham adhi madhyanta varjitam ananda ghanam apurnam atma jyotir upasmahe namaste dhanyavada sorry for the delay today sorry thank you namaste